I can't read it from here, so. No, I'll read them. Are you ready? Ah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Nope. Yes, look, nope. we're wearing matching hats. We're so cute. It's not our channel, though. Yes, it is. We're here today to do a tag video. Today's tag video is called the Reader Problems Tag, and this tag was created by About to Read, and we were tagged by the book dude. Cool, bro. Thanks for the Thanks, tag. Thanks, man. We are just going to jump into this tag. It's just a series of questions. I think there's 11 questions, and I think, I mean, I know there is because I just looked yeah, at it. Yeah, I don't know why you said <laughs> I don't know either. Okay, so let's get into it. Question number let's. one. Let us. You have 20,000 books on your TBR. How in the world do you decide what to read next? Do I own them? Yeah, obviously. Not a book jar. That never works out. No. Jeff and I tried the TBR book jars and we would literally be like, nah, okay, maybe the next one. Nah, we would just keep picking until we found a book. I don't know, I feel like I walk through my bookshelf and I'm like, I feel like reading this. And I just like literally just like look and I go like I have no. This. I have no rhyme or reason. No, I just like, it's whatever I'm feeling at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm into that. How I'm feeling. Yeah, it's all about like, do I feel like getting into a huge dancing. book? Or, you like dancing. I don't feel like dancing, no sun, no dancing today. Or if you feel like a graphic novel or, you know. Yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with like, like if you're doing the reading challenge, like if you have a certain amount of books you need to read in a certain month or what have you, but to answer simply, it's just whatever you're feeling, what I'm feeling. And like mine reading. is seasonal as well. So like I'll read different types of books like in the fall than I would in the summer. You're such a loser. Well, it is what it is. Number two. That's my uh, sign. Question number two is you're halfway through a book and you've, you're just not loving it. Do you quit or are you committed? I always finish, even mm. if I don't like it. Like if I've committed to reading like half of a book, I'm not going to not let that be counted towards my Goodreads goal if I've already put in that much time and effort. Two sides of this. I finished The Road. <laughs> so if there's any book in the world, I would have cut short and not finished It's The Road, but I finished it. You did it, crushed it. Mind you, I've also been reading War and Peace. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you will finish that. That's true. Eventually. Mind you, I've never finished The Great Gatsby. I've never been able to finish it. That's crazy. I love that book. Ugh. That's the only book I can think of that I haven't finished. I take it one step further. If I'm in a series, I can't read something else until I'm done that series. Not true. Yeah. No, you're not done The Legend. Well, in most cases, your books aside because they're mindless. The end of the year is coming and you're so close, but so far away from your Goodreads reading challenge. Do you try to catch up and how? Me personally, I am two books away from finishing my challenge. <laughs> and I am going to read two graphic novels just to ensure that I do complete that before I finish my next book. So I will fill space with graphic novels. Are you making faces at me? Fill space. Yeah, like if I need to get some reading done fast. Yeah. Well, obviously mine is I would just stop because I have this year. Yeah. I'm 10 books behind and I'm just not going to do it. He just said I just said whatever. screw it. I'm going to read the book I want to read right now. Yeah. And it's very long and I'm not going to finish it anytime soon. So yeah, cool. Question number four is the covers of a series you love do not match. How do you cope? This actually bothers me, but it's like I won't go out and buy the matching covers just for the sake of having the matching covers unless I can find them for really cheap on like the book outlet or something like that. It bothers me, but not to the point where I'm gonna go and buy another $30 book just to match my series. False, I would. Jeff would. Jeff is trying to replace all of his books with hardcover books. So like I have Robopocalypse here in a pile. We have this in soft cover and hardcover because... And also American Gods. And American Gods and also Wise Man's Fear because Jeff wants to have all of his books be hardcover, so... That answers my aspect. And for me, I just can't justify spending $30 on a book I already own. Somebody face at me or I'm gonna punch you. You wouldn't. I know. Question number five is, everyone and their mother loves a book you really don't like. Do you bond? Wait. <laughs> you. I messed that up. Wow. Who, do, who do you bond with over shared feelings? 
I don't understand that question. I need to read it again. Wait. Everyone and their mother loves a book that you really don't like. Who do you bond with over shared feelings? I don't understand the question. Am I stupid? Am I not reading No, mine? it's very oddly weir worded. Weirded. We weirded. It's a weirded word. Wait. Like, do you mean like who do you know that you share the same interests with? I, I, don't, I don't understand know. that question. Skip it. My answer is Jack. My answer is Jamie. What? <laughs> Why? Jeez. Hey, question number six. You're reading a book and you are about to start crying in public. How do you deal? I don't. I don't cry when I read books. So. That wouldn't happen to me. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Yeah, you cried during, uh, or when you read uh, Faulkner's Sarah, didn't you? No. Mm. I didn't. Mm. I didn't. Mm. I cried a little bit while reading The Gift. Mm. Right. Nope. Question number seven is, a sequel of a book you loved just came out, but you've forgotten a lot from the prior novel. Will you reread the book, skip the sequel, or try to find a synopsis on Goodreads, or cry in frustration. I will not reread the book. I will like go back to my review of the first book or look at the synopsis on Goodreads or just dive into the sequel because usually at the beginning of a sequel it kind of reminds you what happened in the last book anyways so I don't worry about it. This question is genre dependent. Like for me when Patrick Rothfuss puts finally puts out the actual, not the novella or anything, but the actual third in the trilogy or King Killer Chronicles, I will reread them. I have take to. Forever. I have to because well, there's you, so much you could depth. You just ask me about the first no, one. No, but I would rather reread read them because there's so many little intricate things that I would need to remember. Now, if it was like, like if J.K. Rowling put out another Harry Potter, not that she is, but I wouldn't reread the rest. Just watch the movies. I would just read it. Like it just depends on the book. Like I find a lot of the fantasy stuff. If it came out with a new one, I would have to reread it. There's just so much. There's so much to remember with the world build, yeah. the characters. Etc. Etc. Question number eight is: You do not want anyone, anyone, boring your books. How do you politely tell people nope when they ask? I say no. I say no, thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. Jamie bores my books and she bends them. I don't. What one? Name one. There was one. one you did. No. I caught you doing it numerous times. I'll show you what Jeff gets mad at me for. And I know everyone's gonna cringe when I do this. But sometimes when I'm reading a soft cover book and it's like the first page, I go like this. It just is what it is. Oh, that's terrible. So Jeff got mad because I did that to one of his books, but yeah, I didn't also, bend it or ruin it. She also it. used one of my Harry Potter books and took the dust cover off. Oh my god. Left it on the floor and Jeffrey, bent it. Jeffrey, I literally replaced it. I just switched my dust cover. Yeah, but you still cover. did it. Oh my god. Whatever. She Anyways, I don't even remember what the question is now. I don't know. I usually don't mind. It depends on the person. Like, I've lent your sister books before. She always gives them back. And I think I lent Lisa some books. She, like None of my friends read, so I don't really lend any books out. I wouldn't give my lend my book out to a stranger. I don't love lending my books out, but I'm not going to be it will lend a it, bitch no. and say no. I've done this with DVDs and stuff. You mark, you write down who has what. Yeah. And Jeff and I made Excel spreadsheets of all of our books, so now you can just put it down next to your on your Excel. Yep. This bitch has my book. That's not very nice. You're um, sassy today. I'm very sassy. What's your dealio? Sassy. Question number nine. Reading ADD. You've picked up and put down five books in the last month. How do you get over your reading slump? I watch Netflix and TV until I don't feel like watching Netflix and TV anymore, and then I start reading again. I just wait till I feel like it. Yeah. Sometimes I'm watching TV or Netflix or whatever and I'll literally be sitting there being like, I don't feel like doing this and then all of a sudden I'll get this urge to read and that's when I start again. I have an obsessive personality so if I start like watching a show or playing video games or reading, that's all I want to do. So if I'm in a reading slump then yeah, I'm the same as Jamie, I just have to fill the void with whatever else I'm into doing at that time. Until you don't feel Until like doing I, anymore. Until I just feel like, I'll just randomly be like, I feel like reading again. Also depends on what books I'm reading. Like if I'm reading a book that I'm not interested in, that is more than likely going to lead to me having a reading slump. Yeah. Whether it be for a few weeks, uh, a few days or a month or whatever. But it really depends. Because if I'm into a book, like really into a book, and I finish it, I want to keep reading. Yes. Like not specifically that book, but just in general. Yeah, it just puts you in the mood for reading. Once you hit, once I hit a bad book, I'm in a tough spot for a little while. 
and it'll I, turn me off from reading. I'm the same way too. Like if I find a TV show that I really like, I want to watch mm -hmm. every single episode, yeah. no matter what, and then it well, just screws my reading. We're both the same when it comes to watching stuff. Like we yeah. marathon it. Yeah. Like if there's something new we 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 find that we want to watch, we will download a, all of it legally and just marathon it. A what? A marathon. A what? A marathon. I don't know. Like spunk? <laughs> What's your favorite type of spunk? I, I like, like the, the black, black one. one. What does it taste like? Mm, it's a little salty. Question number 10. There are so many new books coming out that you're dying to read. How many do you actually buy? All of them. All of them. I always have the intention of reading books like soon and you'll notice in my our videos or the videos that I even do without Jeff where I'm like, oh, I really like, I'm going to get to this book soon, but it never happens. Like I just like to... I just like to have the option of reading them. There's a crap ton of books right now that I want to own. Mm -hmm, me too. Will be owned shortly. <laughs> and after you've bought the new books you can't wait to get to, how long do they sit on your shelf before you get to them? It depends on the book. You Typically, yeah. I don't buy a book and read it right away. Like, that rarely happens for me. Yeah, I agree. I don't remember the last time I bought a book and read it. Yeah, I do. Of, of Dice and Men, that's the last time I picked up a book at the store. Yeah. And read it right away. That's the only one I can think of. I don't know, like, I don't know what it is about the urge to, like, I need to have this book even though I'm not planning on reading it right away, but it's just something that you want to have, so you get it. Right? Yeah, I got a whole lifetime to read, so. Same. Lots of time to fill with books. Yeesh. So that's the end of the tag. You want to tag anyone? I want to tag Jan Explains It All. I want to tag Dave from Lit Journal. So we noticed this uh, this really odd trend that happened when we did our video, and I said that I wanted more people to follow me on Goodreads and like my reviews so that I could be better than Jamie. And the actual opposite happened. <laughs> I said that, and all of a sudden my stock started to plummet on Goodreads. Yeah, get but out. What the, what the hell? Get out of town. Like, come on. I write good reviews on Goodreads. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, but I write more. Yeah, but your your reviews are like, I liked it. I don't know they're not. I write like paragraphs. <laughs> like multiple sentences. This book was real yeah, good. <laughs> oh my god. I love the romance. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dick. The romance in this book was super <laughs> cute. Well, sometimes it is and you gotta say. So cute. So End of review. End of review. Loved it. Let's tag Miss Sassy Cassie. Cold Tea and Crumbs. Yeah, Cold Tea and Crumbs. Love that name. Good tag. Sassy Cassie 5. There's lots of sassy. Sassy. Sassy Cassie, I feel like, is like, that's a good name. That's yeah. a good YouTube name. Yeah. Shannon from Leaning Lights. Mm -mm -mm. And I think that's all. What was that? And Ramblings of an Elf Pyre. My arms are tired from carrying kitty litter. Flailing gesticulation. Look it up. What is gesticulation? Look it up. <coughs> she's looking up flailing <coughs> gesticulation. Guaranteed she's gonna ask me how to spell it. No, I won't. Gesticulation. I know how to spell stuff. I have a university degree. Stop flailing. Jeff, this doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does. It's not even a, a word or a phrase. You're just making it. Okay, so flailing. <laughs> yeah, I know right. what flailing is. We, we on board there? What's gesticulation? Like gestures. Oh. Oh, but no, you're wrong. No, then it, it's just flailing gestures, not gesticulation. Yep. I don't, is gesticulation even a word? I think so. A gesture, especially a dramatic one. Da -da 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 -da. No. Oh my god, I love when I'm right. No. Get out of town. Okay, so that's all that we have for you Can guys today. Can you question my intelligence? Shh. Let's hold hands. Thank you guys so much for watching. If ow, if you like what you see, please nah, subscribe. Don't bother. We hope to see you again don't soon. Don't bother. Why? Because I'm going to make my own rival. Give us a thumbs up if you like our matching hat. I'm going to make my own rival channel. Oh my god. That I would have to edit and do everything yeah. for. You're the producer. I'm the content. I'm the star. You're, you're, uh, I'm Jerry Seinfeld. You're, what's his name? Larry, Larry David. Larry David. Wait. <laughs> That's it. Okay, bye. Jackie didn't say goodbye. Later days. Say it to the camera. Later days. Bye. Oh, no. That was nice. That was not nice. Just hear those sleigh bells jingling.